everyone, Jack here from Peach Guitars. And while I get this guitar back in tune, let me tell you something. Origin have done it yet again. Now, I said this the last time that we featured an Origin pedal on the channel, which was the uh, the new the Magma 57 at the time. And continuing the trend of just packing in maximum punch into smaller packages, as they tend to do, they've applied their compact format of pedals, which we've seen with the Cali 76 compressor series, as well as the Revival Drive. They've now expanded that even further with the Revival Drive Hot Rod compact version. So the lineage is this. Originally, they released the Revival Drive, which was a really big package, um, which we featured on the channel a couple of years ago with Simon from Origin Effects. That was a great all-in-one, two-channel, very tweakable, very cool overdrive pedal. And it had a lot of capability that we just scratched the surface of. You've got all kind of um, tweakability in the tones. You've got foot switchability as well and loads of I.O. and different stuff going on. That was just a little bit too much for some people, so they made the compact version, which was like this. Single channel, best features of that large pedal distilled into a more simple compact format, and that pedal was very, very popular, the original Revival Drive Compact, one of my own favorite uh, drive pedals as well. Then came the Hot Rod version of the big Revival Drive. That was the third iteration, and it basically Whereas the regular Revival Drive is based on 60s and 70s amps, that kind of tonality, the Hot Rod version obviously pushes forward into the era of the late 70s and early 80s when people started to modify and Hot Rod their amplifiers. So this new version obviously completes the package. You've now got a compact version of that Hot Rod version of the original Revival Drive. Hopefully that makes sense and you're with me so far. As you'll have been able to tell from that intro tone, this is very much going for that, I would say, early 80s modded Marshall Plexi type tone. And in fact, I've just used the manual to get uh, Origin's own sample setting here, more or less, which is their, they're calling this a modded Plexi. And that's basically what it sounds like to me. I have tweaked it slightly. Um, I'll show you the actual sample setting they give, and then I'll show you why I made the tweaks. But... I've got a Fender Custom Shop uh, sort of hot rod strat as well with a humbucking pickup in the bridge, Seymour Duncan, into the Mesa Fillmore 25. And I want to show you a couple more things in this video than I have done with previous Origin videos. So let's just delve into what this basic kind of principle of this pedal is for. Like I said, it's a high gain uh, overdrive pedal, but in typical Origin fashion, what they do is they don't just make a kind of sterile feeling uh, synthetic attempt at making a gain pedal. What they do is they really study the components that go into vintage amp design and Simon, their head designer, does an amazing job of transporting that magic that we all associate with high power valve amps and just cramming them into teeny tiny little metal boxes like this. So going after a modded plexitone is quite common on the pedal market, it's fair to say, but what is not very common is this ability. Check this out. As with all the Origin pedals, the clean-up ability and that dynamic response from the volume control, which is such a buzzword that gets banded around very, very easily in the pedal world, but they actually do it. I don't know how they do it, but whatever they do to these circuits make them really, really lifelike and very three-dimensional. And It's very important that you understand that relationship with your guitar, and it's important that you understand how this pedal is going to slot into your signal, pa uh, signal path or signal chain if you want to get the best out of it. So to show you how well it can work with 
signal chain. Before I delve into any of the other sample settings, I want to show you a really common use for this pedal, which is to have it kind of in the middle of a pedal board. I've got an Ibanez TS-808 Tube Screamer down here on the floor in front of the pedal. I'm going to show you how it works with using a pedal like that as a boost into the front end and how it responds. Let's check it out. <laughs> Obviously, it takes pedals very, very well indeed, and I've got the Line 6 HX effects as usual uh, as the last thing in the chain to give me a bit of delay today. So, that's kind of a good example of how people are actually going to use this kind of pedal, I think. The other thing I want to show you, once again, before we delve into the settings, is how useful this post drive EQ control section is, uh, which I haven't really talked about in previous Origin Effects videos. So, let me demonstrate. To do this, I've set the amp up with the two channels, one to sound kind of martially, quite thick and mid-rangey, as I tend to like it. So let me turn the pedal off. This is the clean tone of the amp on channel one here. So if you're looking at the amp, it's going to be the controls on the left. It's quite a thick tone. Now, the opposite to that is something like a Fender type tone, which I've set up on channel two. You can see I've dipped the mid, boosted the treble and the bass, and that sounds like this. So the pedal responds very, very differently to those two different sounds. Let me show you. So if I turn the pedal on and I'll flick between the two channels, this is where this post drive section really comes into its own and allows you to tailor it to whatever amp you're using. So it's in EQ2 at the moment. Here's channel one. <laughs> Hopefully you'll have heard, as I switch between the two channels, when I went to EQ1, it takes away some of that, what would be a harsh top end. So if you've got a Fender style amp, uh, I think the general recommended setting from them is to use EQ1, as it kind of just shaves off some of that top end unpleasantry and uh, makes it a little bit more usable into a super clean amp. So anyway, I'll go back to channel one for the rest of this video. Just wanted to show you what the EQ section does. Now I've said all that, let's delve into some of the actual settings. So I said I tweaked this slightly from what's in the manual, but I'm going to just, for the sake of argument, line it up exactly as they do. They have the lows up high, and the way I understand this to work is that the low and the high setting, these middle two controls, work like a traditional amplifier circuit would. So they kind of, I guess they're post-gain, uh, sorry, pre-gain, so they kind of, no, post-gain it would be. So they don't impact the tone that much, but they do impact the feel quite a lot. So when the lows are up high like this, the amp feels very full and it doesn't get bloated out, um, but it just gives a nice fat tone. So let me show you that. This is how the, the stock setting, the sample setting in the manual suggests you do this for a modded plexi tone. <laughs>
So for me, that's just a little bit too full. I liked it with the lows actually way back here around like nine or 10 o'clock and you really feel the difference. Check this out. <laughs> It really becomes a lot tighter, a lot stiffer, and responds better, I think, to a humbucking pickup anyway. Uh, let me do the same thing with the highs control. I'll just vary that, because it's halfway at the moment. Apparently, fully counterclockwise is going to be like a Marshall flat-lined EQ. The more you hype it up, the more you get that traditional plexi, everything on 10 type approach. So let's check that out. <laughs> I actually really liked that when the highs are up full because it does have that kind of ballistic plexi type tone but in the middle is a nice uh, middle middle ground literally now the interesting control here is the the one that's titled more and presence so this is kind of the hardest thing to understand on most origin pedals this in this circuit seems to affect the modeling of negative feedback in an amp so if you turn it fully counterclockwise, you actually bring in more negative feedback, I think, which in turn changes the feel of the amp, makes it actually a little bit more kind of, I'm just gonna play it for you and, and let, you, let you judge. I'm gonna turn it all the way counterclockwise and you can hear, brings in a little bit more top end hiss, it becomes a little bit more unhinged. <laughs> So really effective control in tailoring the feel. So whereas the, the highs and the lows kind of make it feel more like you're actually playing with the EQ of an amp, that really changes the actual structure of the amp. So you can hear counterclockwise, it adds more sizzle, it makes the amp more unhinged. Fully cl clockwise, it's kind of got a smoother response, but you've got more actual top end. Hopefully that makes some sense anyway. That's my understanding of it. I like it right around here at about 10 o'clock. But let me just give you another sample setting here of going for more of like a cranked Vox style amp. So you're going to utilize this having more negative feedback. Uh, although I think the Vox amps actually have less negative feedback. So let's, let's just see what this does. This is the sample setting about nine o'clock. I'm going to use the blend as well. Now the blend in this works slightly differently to other origin pedals in that it actually reduces some of the gain when you start to blend back the fully OD signal and you blend it clean. So you'll hear the gain dip off quite a lot and you get more of this sort of chime to the tone, a little bit more clarity. This is going for kind of a hot rodded Vox thing. <laughs>
So right there, just playing with the blend, this is now a totally different kind of a pedal. This has got way more dynamic range. Um, it's got a lot more sparkle to the tone. So it's more than just a hot rod Marshall style pedal. It actually has a lot of different tonality on board. My favorite thing to do with it though is to just go for that kind of ballistic plexi thing, which was the blend all the way up. Uh, let's see if I can get this back to roughly where I had it before. It's kind of about there, I think. This is just the best sound in this pedal, in my opinion. You can experiment to your heart's content, but this is what I think it's best for. <laughs> So I think we've got another winner here from Origin. Very, very well done to the folks there at managing to just distill what was already compared to a real amp anyway. Fairly compact box, the original Revival Drive Hot Rod. This new compact version is gonna work very well for players who just want even more space available on their pedal board, but you still want a lot of that Origin functionality. This just about rounds out the family of drive pedals from them. So if you want more information on this new Origin Hot Rod, uh, Revival Drive Compact, then click the link in the description below to check out Peach Guitar's website and to check out the full range of Origin pedals that we stock. Hopefully you've enjoyed this little bit of a first impressions uh, type video from me. If you have, make sure you leave a like down below and comment down there with your thoughts as well. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm going to play you out. Have a great day. Thanks a lot for watching. Cheers, guys. <laughs>